Good morning, my friends. It is day three here in Geneva. I think we've done like half the city. I mean, obviously not, but that's what it feels like. Yeah. I probably sound very tired right now. It's 9 a.m. I've been up for like three hours, but I just, you know, when you're like in that rhythm of doing so much that you just sound tired. I am very excited though. We're about to head down for breakfast and then we have a jam packed day. If you haven't seen what I've done previously here in Geneva, oh my goodness, there is so much. Go and watch that vlog first. But today we're going on a chocolate tour. So we're here with the tourism board and one thing they offer is a choco pass. And essentially you get to go around eight different chocolate shops, walk in and they give you chocolate to try. So that is very much up my street. So we're gonna do that today and then we have a boat tour with lunch Which is gonna be really lovely. I hope the Sun comes out for that. That would be amazing And then dinner we have a very special restaurant for like our last night So I am just very excited to have a lovely day go and explore even more And you know, what I, I don't think we've done enough of whilst we've been here. I don't think I've had enough like pastry And chocolate. Coffee. Yeah, chocolate. I'm still here. Strapping for the ride because today is going to be an epic Pick one. It's gonna be so oh, good. I can't believe we're going on a chocolate tour. It's like Shh. our dream. Everyone else is like, we want a wine tour. Well, like <laughs> we, we were like, no, no, no. Chocolate tour. By the time we get on the boat, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm low energy right now. We're gonna eat, and then we're going to eight chocolate shops. I think by the time eight. we. Yeah, I think by the time we get on the boat, we're gonna be a little hyper. It's everything's feeling very magical here. It's very whimsical, isn't it? That's what we've like come to the conclusion of. Like Disney World. Yeah, very much so. I think it'll be magical at Christmas. But let's head down to breakfast. And I'm very excited to see our friends at breakfast. <laughs> They're so nice. So here's my little outfit of the day. It's looking quite grey, and we're obviously going on the boat, so I don't want to get cold. I have a gorgeous dress that I want to wear, but I'm thinking if it warms up this afternoon, we're so centrally located that we can just pop back. I can change. I've got my Reformation Liza jeans, my Golden Goose trainers, which are my new everyday trainer. If I wasn't walking as far, I would definitely put my Chanel ballet flats on, but I am, so I gotta be prepared. I have this new jumper, which is from Soft Goat, my white Chanel, and then my little Burberry trench. I don't think I'm gonna bring a tote with me because, oh no, we should because of the chocolate. We need a panic chocolate tote. Yeah, so apparently if you don't like manage to finish all the chocolate they're kind of giving to you to test, they'll give you a little kind of like goodie bag to take away. So I'm gonna bring so the tote to put in there. Oh, this is gorgeous. Where's this from? Forever new, but I think it might be a little bit seated on the bottom. I also accidentally did this when trying on, but we're fine. <laughs> that sums you up, that's wonderful. <laughs> Let's go. go. This is the breakfast spread today. I've got some smoked salmon, mozzarella, pesto, some bread, and then I've got a little baby banana muffin. Of course, I have to have my yogurt and granola with some fruit. We've got a bakery basket, and then we both have some eggs on the way, and of course, some coffee. This is uh, my idea of a dream. I should eat breakfast for every meal. The chocolate tour has begun. We have arrived at the first location. So I think we just have to show them our pass and then they scan it. I'm pretty sure that's what we do. The pass lasts for one day. So you have to do it in one day. However, when you buy it, it lasts for a year until you activate it. So it's actually quite a good gift, but I'm ready for my first chocolate of the day. <laughs> Okay, this is the second spot. It was like a three minute walk away, which is perfect. We actually haven't tried the chocolates from the other place. Uh, oh, wow. Look at this. We haven't eaten the guys in here, they're famous for their kind of mix of flavors. So that's an Earl Grey one. We have an apple one, and I believe it has caramel in as well. It's crazy. This is the first one that we're trying. Thank you. It's like Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> It has um, caramel. Mm. It's milky. I would love to try the apple. Oh, okay, yeah, we yeah. can do apple. Look, you guys, it's green. <laughs> apple. Yeah. That actually has apple inside it. That tastes like an apple. That's amazing. Alright, this is our next stop. We've literally walked across the bridge from over there. You here, and this is the next stop on our choco pass. You guys, look how good this looks. So, every shop seems to have their specialty. Look at this. There's a swan, the ducks, the crazy cow. <laughs> I love the crazy cow. These are actually 
inside. Yeah, that's so good. And it smells nice. unbelievable. Oh, really I think so too, compared to everywhere else we've been. <gasps> Look at the little, is that a sausage dog? Oh my gosh, they have a sausage dog. Oh my goodness, it's like a Josie. <laughs> Stop it, is that mouse on cheese? No. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. This is the next spot. So we're pretty central right now. There's a big wheel over there. And we keep kind of ending up in this square. This is the next one. Now I'm pretty sure this is the one that has another branch that's like a hot chocolate bar. Yes, it looks way more like a cafe. So we've just got our chocolates. And I was right, this is the place that has the hot chocolate bar. And as part of our Choco Pass, we get a hot chocolate, which I'm so excited for this. They have all the chocolate flakes that you can buy. And I am very tempted because I do love a hot chocolate. And I obviously have my hot chocolate machine at home. What's it called? What's the chocolate thing called? The Velvetizer. Yeah. And these work really well in the Velvetizer. So they've got all different ones. They've got 64%, 74%, 68%, 38%. percent they have got oh, white chocolate, hot chocolate. Yeah. We could start our own canoes at home. Oh, extra dark. Are you ready to try? Mm. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. That is so great. It's like... That's such great chocolate. Next up, I think this is spot number six. Well, no, count. seven. This is this has to be. Are you sure? I think so. Yeah. I'm gonna count on my phone. Yes. No, you're right. This is spot number six, and I've kind of seen in the window some of the things they have. I think we need to find for each one their like niche thing, and I think they have these little bunnies. I'm excited to see. Stop it. This is adorable. Oh, I might have to buy one. It's quite funny, each shop has their own like interpretation of what they want to do. Some of them want to talk to us and talk us through everything. Some of them just want us to know about kind of the history and things like that. And some of them just hand us a bag. It's really funny, it's quite nice that there's a mix. We have to come back here to we the food market. The food. <gasps> Stop it, let me show you the rotisserie chickens. Oh my goodness. Well, here we have their specialty. Look at this. Don't the ghetto style cake. Look incredible. They just look ridiculously good. The chocolate tour is complete. We actually got to the last shop and it was closed because it was only a pop-up. So, so we've walked back on to like the main part near the bridge, which is like 10 minutes from our hotel. And we we're about to get onto our boat tour. The timing worked out perfectly. We even had time to grab a coffee en route. So I am very excited to sit on the boat and we're gonna see so much. It's gonna be so good. This is our boat and it looks like we might be getting some fun. So ready for you guys look how beautiful this is. So we're sat in there and they've just come out the front of the boat. Look, it's so quaint and cute. And look at the mountains. Really good, absolutely glorious. It was not as seasick as I thought I would be. So nice. And we made friends. We made friends. The waiter was amazing and lived in London for I think he said 18 years, which is incredible. And the houses are insane. They're incredible. We've been like house hunting in the houses. But we've basically turned round and we're heading back towards the city now. So we're gonna go out the front of the boat and have spot essentially. Guys, look how quaint this is. The lifeboat, all of the houses. And then this is all kind of indoor cabin, but you can still see everything. It's panoramic. <laughs> Crazy. I've had such a wonderful time on the boat. I would say if you're coming to Geneva, put this on your list if you can. Even if you don't want to do the lunch, there is packages you can do on this boat where you don't eat. Maybe you could like bring your own snacks and I don't know, like sit in here. There's downstairs as well. But I feel like we've seen so much. I've actually ticked off some places that I've been screenshotting on my maps as we've been going past because we've seen some beautiful like lakeside cafes and restaurants. Yes. So next time I think we may hire a car or maybe see if there's a train to drive take along us there the and coast, drive along. Yeah. Also, we've seen some very funny shaped houses. It's so I mean, they're interesting. Absolutely incredible. They're so tall and thin. They're so whimsical. It's like a yeah. fairy land. It's like a Disney movie. Good evening, my friends. I have rested up a little bit and vibrations are high. We are heading out for dinner, which we are actually having, like overlooking the lake. So I am very excited. The weather's kind of cleared a little bit.
outlets we can really see the mountain which is just beautiful but I'm very ready to go for dinner I'm excited to do the walk there I've got my cute little outfit on I feel really cute actually opted for no makeup uh which I just felt a bit too, you know when you're feeling a bit too tired to put makeup on? I love how we're matching neutrals. Yes, where, where are your trousers from? They're so cute. It's a H&M, we're matching neutrals. We're very much the same tone, I like that. You gotta set but the tone. We're gonna go for dinner and then I think we're gonna wander around the old town and just, I mean not that I don't think anything's going to be open really, but it's just beautiful to kind of wander around and see everything and that's what we've really been enjoying doing. So are you ready to head off? Let's go. So we've just wandered along the lake. We are here at Restaurant de la Plage. Bonjour. Bonjour, everybody. Bonsoir. We you are can't tell excited. we have a second one. We're <laughs> very excited. It's the lake air. It just makes us so happy. I, I feel like having like an hour just to sit, we like arose from it ready to just go again. Sitting in our beautiful suite, taking in the beautiful mountains, taking the lake yeah. air. So this is Restaurant de la Plage. We've been recommended this. Everything is seasonal. I was looking at the menu earlier and they actually let you know where everything is sort from which we love they did that at where were we babington oh my goodness yes my favorite place. and everything was local and they told you which farmer they got their eggs from and where they sourced the meat from and i just i love that Trey had exceptional so i think a lot of what we're going to see tonight is like specials I think they have like a standard menu and then it did say there is a ton of specials and we have to ask. So let's go and check in and get our table. Look at the spread. We got everything at once. So we got the aubergine, which looks really, really good. I'm not the biggest aubergine fan, so I'm all about the salad on top. <laughs> and then we got this, which is the cauliflower. And then we got the brown for dessert. This looks insane. It's got caramel and full bread. How can you not have bread? So there's some performances on tonight. Look how many people are here. We're gonna go and have a wander along the front and then maybe end up back here in a bit. Welcome to the closet room. I'm just getting my pajamas. We've been discussing what we want to do with our last day tomorrow and there's so much that we want to take off but I think what we're going to do is spend a little bit of time like in the morning in the room because we haven't done enough of that so I think we're going to do breakfast in the room tomorrow which we haven't done yet. That would be really lovely and then we're going to go and have a major explore and do a brunch because it's Sunday and that just felt like the most perfect thing to do but the city has been buzzing tonight like so busy Every restaurant had like a line outside it. Everyone was walking around with picnic baskets, pizzas. I even saw someone sat along waiting to watch the drone show because it's on tonight as well. And they had like a, a gas burner hob, like a camping portable one. And they were like heating up wine on it. And it was really cute. They're making their own like mulled wine. It was so funny. But yeah, a really, really cool atmosphere. And it was a really nice comparison actually to see like last night was a bit quieter. And then tonight is super busy and bustling. It's really nice to see that there is both of that here. But let me get my pajamas on. Welcome to the bathroom. I'm giving you a whole tour of the room again tonight. I've just done my little face thing. But I don't know if anyone else is like this before bed, but I'm very much a routine person. I have to do all my things before bed. I'm one of them is brushing my hair. I hate going to bed with netty hair. I just can't do it. I don't know, there's certain things before bed, like I have to make sure my face is totally moisturized. And I don't know, I don't know if it's a routine thing and it helps me to sleep, but I definitely know what makes me feel good when I wake up in the morning, like on the other side. And I feel like if you wanna set yourself up for success, then you have to, you know, do those things. But I am going to head off to sleep. We are gonna make the most of our time tomorrow. Our flight's not till around 5 p.m. So we've got a good chunk of the day and the airport's super, super close. I don't think actually we need to get there any earlier than like max two hours before really so i think it'll be fine but thank you for watching today's vlog i think i'm just gonna pop tomorrow in this vlog because i don't know how long it is so assume that this is halfway through and if you're enjoying halfway through give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the morning good night Good morning, my friends. It is our final day here in Geneva. Our room service breakfast that we ordered last night has just been delivered and it's gonna be a great day. I'm so sad that we have to fly home. I feel like there is so much more that I have to do here. So I'm sure we'll tick off at least three or four things today. We wanna go, we wanna go to the old town, right? Yeah, I feel like we haven't done enough of that, but of course it's Sunday, so a lot of things aren't open. So I think we're just gonna do a lot of kind of looking around. Hopefully some attractions are open that we can use our city pass. I don't know what the situation is with kind of things like that being open. We'll have to have a look, but I am very excited to eat. I did get up this morning and try and go to the gym. It wasn't very good, 
But you know what? I tried and that's enough, but let me show you breakfast. Look at our breakfast spread. Okay, I'm gonna give you a little, I guess a little breakfast haul of what we've got because this just looks divine. We have smoked salmon, some hash browns, some tea with lemon, pancakes, some fruit and yogurt. That's like our fave combo in the morning. A ton of jams, oh, some salt and pepper, orange juice, some more salmon. We then have a ton of Nutellas. These are for the pancakes. And then of course, some boiled eggs and some soldiers oh is this birch and muesli i think and then just a ton of tea coffee and this is going to be incredible the time has come to say goodbye to the room i'm packing my final oh, bits no. up we're so sad we don't want to leave it's no, been amazing but we're gonna go and explore and we actually have brunch booked even though we had uh, breakfasty brunch we had breakfast at a reasonable time though so it's fine and yeah we've been recommended this brunch it's actually new the place is really recommended and did you say like two months ago maybe they started doing this brunch it's yeah, super recent it's going to be absolutely amazing and i guess we have no idea what's on the menu so it's gonna be a surprise for us as well isn't it a buffet style Apparently, yeah. but we're not going to know. We've read different that. things, so I don't know if it's one of those things where they have this idea to do this brunch and they've been tweaking, or they're just trying different things, or it's just different every week. Either way, you're going to find out because we're going yeah. to show you. <laughs> That's where we're going. Now that timing's impeccable. Did you see that? Did you hear the service lift? It was the staff coming as we walked down the stairs out of the lift with the luggage trolley to go and get our luggage. It's the efficiency for me. It's so perfect. Guys, I think our lunch is in here. This is wonderful. We're in like a park. Oh my gosh, it's like high Park vibes. I wish we had something like this in London, like in Hyde Park or something. We've got our cute little table. What do you think? <gasps> It's so cute, I can't believe we're able to sit outside. It's so pretty, we saw a little sneak peek. It is a buffet, isn't it? It's a buffet. So by the looks of things, they do a couple of different seatings. And so like you can't come at random points, you come at the start of kind of each seating. Yeah. So it's, I mean, it's like busy, but it's not overwhelming. It's not crazy, is it? Yeah, like Some of these brunch buffets are intense. This is really calm. <laughs> Look. At this, we have pineapple, we've got all the desserts, some melon, moving around. <gasps> Look at the cakes. Oh my goodness, the chocolate cake, that is a bit of me. And then we have a chocolate fountain with, of course, some fruit to dip in. I'm so gonna get some of this, and I bet it's really good Swiss chocolate as well. All right, along to the savory, we have some tomatoes, and look at all that mozzarella. That is my dream. So much bread, some salad, oh my goodness, eggs, that's the dream. And then a build your own little salad station, which is awesome. And then along here, we have a bunch of seafood, some meats, and then on this side, we we have like breakfasty foods and then there's also some cheeses as well. So this is my plate one. It is unlimited so you can go up as many times as you want. What did you get? Talk us through. I went for kind of like my own little salad with mozzarella, tomato, so much cucumber, pesto, cheese, and focaccia. Yeah, you'll have to let me know how the focaccia is. I'm very excited. I've got mango, cucumber, some carrots, some mozzarella, and some pesto. I just wish there was some like some sourdough. I could have done with that. Would be good. And you can go up as many times as you want. And we finished our all you can eat brunch buffet. We've eaten so much food so far today. It's been a bit of a foodie weekend actually, but everything's been so good. I would highly recommend if you are coming to Geneva, pop this on your list because not only is it beautiful, but you have this whole park that you can kind of amble around before or after. So it's quite a good activity to take up. Maybe like three, four hours. I have decided I'm definitely gonna bring my family here because it's such an easy one. Sophie doesn't really like doing long long flights so yeah i'm thinking well she doesn't mind doing long long flights but with her back and everything it's just it's a whole production so like an hour and a half is nothing she can manage that no bother and on no notice if you know what i mean so yeah i think i'm gonna bring them and do some of the things we've done and i will definitely take them there there's also enough there if you're a fussy eater that there'll be so much you like i mean a chocolate fountain no brainer <laughs> light parts in like an hour but I am so tired it's very quiet in here so I'll catch up with you when I am home